What's up, beautiful babes? Sweet Angel here. Oh my gosh. I am definitely feeling this topic today. It doesn't matter how hard I've tried. I know one thing that you can slow down aging, but it's not going to stop. I have been fighting with my skin and I think it's got a lot to do with all of the road trips in the sun. You know, if you're, if you're spending more than 15 minutes out in the hot sun you're gonna have a problem and i know my skin has been going through it so that is why today i'm talking about something that's near and dear to me okay i'm talking to my i'm talking about to me so i wanted to bring it to my beautiful babes instead of just dealing with it on my own i wanted to share with you some things that i have been using that i feel that are beneficial in helping to kind of slow this process down, like pump the brakes a little bit. So if you're in it with me today, please stick and stay to the very end. Lots of stuff to talk about today, and I'm hoping you're in for the journey. So if you are, please make sure you've already subscribed to this channel because we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on and a lot going on with this polka dot dress because it's like making me have football shoulders because it just, you know, I know it's not the most expensive thing in the world, but it's definitely, it can definitely help me out a little bit. But we're going to just look somewhere else here on the screen. Don't look at the shoulders. Ah, don't look at the shoulders. But anywho, let's get to today's topic. And that is my top six natural remedies to tighten sagging skin. Some of the best natural remedies I know to help to tighten the skin, tighten sagging skin. I have about six of them and one is relatively new to me. I've actually been taking a supplement for this is my this is going into my second year because I finished a bottle and I started another bottle and it has enough supplements in it to carry you pretty much for an entire year. So we're going to start into that right now and I'm glad you're here for it. So we all know that fine lines, wrinkles, and sagging are just a normal part of the signs of aging. And I know y'all have heard this over and over again. As we grow older, our skin loses elasticity. And as a result, yeah, the sagging occurs. Now we got our own issues that we put into the pot because guess what? We do all the wrong things. Dehydration, smoking, pregnancy, excessive consumption of alcohol. We gain weight, we lose weight. All of those things contribute to the sagging of the skin. And not only that, sometimes we even use the wrong skincare products that nudges us right on into the sagging skin category. Now, even though we can't reverse the process of sagging, there are ways that we can definitely delay it a little bit. So what I've compiled together today is pretty much the best of the best of some of the natural treatments or home remedies that we can do in order to tighten up sagging skin at home or at least reduce the appearance of it. So the first one I want to talk about today is one that's pretty much, again, within the last year have I started this and I've heard so many great things about it. Have I seen some good results? Yes, but y'all know I'm working on me all the time. I'm not going to stop working on me. Okay, so we're going to talk about this today and that is what's in this bottle here, which is vitamin K2, MK7, 100 mcg and you get 360 tablets in this bottle yes 360 so the reason why i know it's been a year pretty much a year is because i just reordered i just re-upped on it so it was about this time last year that i started taking these and let me tell you let me tell you about these and excuse the nails honey i'm working on everything all at one time and honey it's, it's not working for me. I am behind time with a lot of things. So let's get to these right now. Let's talk about vitamin K2. Vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 contributes to skin health and bone metabolism. It helps to promote proper brain function 
and prevents heart-related diseases. Now, vitamin K2 is important in the body's use of calcium to help build bones and to inhibit blood vessel calcification. Now, vitamin K2 is found in animal foods and preserved foods as well. Now, please excuse my doggies. They are doing their job on top of me trying to do mine. So they ain't gonna let me be great at this moment, but I'm going to talk further in detail about K2 in a separate video as well. But today I just wanted to highlight for you, there are times when we start looking a little tired or maybe old. Which one could it be? Some people are in their 30s and they're looking old. And a lot of times it could be because of a deficiency in K2. K2 is something that I have added to the mix. So check it out. Talk to your doctor about possibly adding K2 into the mix. It's the right thing for me. It may not be the right thing for you. So check it out before you start a new supplement into your routine. But this is the one here and I will have it listed in the description box as well. Now let's move into one that we've talked about previously here on the channel, and that's aloe vera gel. If you have fresh aloe vera, you know, that's really the one you need to aim for. Fresh aloe vera gel, one of the plant leaves, very affordable at your local grocer. Check this out. Let me tell you about aloe vera gel, what it's going to do for the skin. It's actually one of the best home remedies for skin tightening. Why? Because it contains malic acid. And that is one acid that improves the skin elasticity. This is how you're going to do this. All you'll need is preferably an aloe vera leaf plant. Extract the gel from it, or if you want to use the store-bought, you can. The, of course, the leaf works best, but you can use the store-bought gel as well. Once you extract the aloe vera gel from the leaf, and apply it on your face and neck. Just leave it on about 20 minutes before rinsing. Once you rinse it off, just rinse with lukewarm water. And what you're going to do is do this three to four times a week. Now that's the second amazing thing that you can do to help with a sagging skin. Now let's go on to number three. And number three is very simple again. All of these are super simple to help you out. Now I have used this before a variation here and there, and I have brought it to my channel and that is egg white. But the difference this time, I want you to do egg white and honey. Rich in albumin protein, egg white is a great remedy for sagging skin. It improves the skin texture by rebuilding the cells of the skin and making your skin healthy. All you need is two ingredients, as I mentioned, egg white and honey, organic honey, if at all possible. The one with the little bear, mm, that one can't quite do the job. You need you some organic, raw, unfiltered honey. I'll have the link below for you to check it out, get it, get it, and get it for you. Get it for you, okay? Let me tell you how to mix this up. Just mix the egg white and the honey well. Just the white of one egg and two tablespoons of honey. Apply this mixture on your face and neck. Leave it on for about 20 minutes and then wash it off with cold water. You're going to do this three times a week. Three times a week. Remember that. Now, I know you're hearing all of these things that I'm talking about. Remember, you make the choice on which one of these you want to do. You don't have to do them all in one night. You can try any of them to see what works best for you. Now, this one is super simple. Super, super simple. Yes, olive oil. Y'all know olive oil is amazing amazing and we'll be talking a lot more about olive oil because i can't seem to get away from around it because it's got so many amazing benefits for the skin and one of those is today we're talking about it helping with sagging skin so when it comes to this olive oil right here all you have to do is simply do an olive oil massage it'll not only tighten your skin but will also make it smoother and clearer. You can use olive oil for massaging as it contains 
listen, vitamin E and vitamin A. And it also has anti-aging benefits. I don't know if you recall this video or were you even part of my life at the time I talked about taking a tablespoon of olive oil every single day. Let me tell you why. K2 is found in this supplement. K2 is also found in the olive oil. So think about it. There are amazing, amazing benefits all around that we tend to know and sometimes forget. And olive oil can be one of those things that you can take your, a sip of it. This particular one, now I use this one mainly on my skin. I just use just regular cooking olive oil for taking it every day. I don't take the olive oil like I did before because I'm using my K2 and I have other supplements that I use. However, olive oil can be a game changer for you. So think about it. So when it comes to the olive oil, this is all you need to do. Take two tablespoons of this olive oil. Take the olive oil in a small container. If you want to, it's great if you can warm it up a little bit. Use the warm oil to massage your face and neck. Massage for about 10 minutes. Then take a clean cloth, dip it in lukewarm water, and use it to wipe your face and neck off. You can also use coconut oil, almond oil, or even jojoba oil for massaging. So that's a simple one. Very simple, very easy. You're complaining about things, but there's help. Probably right in your household, go check out your kitchen. Check to see if you got some olive oil. If you don't have the K2 vitamins, start taking you a teaspoon or a tablespoon every single morning of olive oil. And then also start massaging your face upwards with the olive oil, the warm olive oil, as often as you like. There's no overdoing it, okay? Just maybe once a day is sufficient. But if you can do that, you'll start seeing some differences. Now, the next one I've talked about so many times because y'all know I love a good scrub. Now, this scrub can be used on the face minus one of the ingredients, but it is, it is also great for sagging skin on the body, the arms, the thighs, the buttocks. Let's try this out. Let's talk about it. It's coconut oil and coffee grounds. Y'all know I've been there with you before. If you've been around, if you've been part of the family, that long. See, coffee contains caffeine, which makes your skin soft and firm by eliminating fat and moisturizing the skin. The ground coffee will gently exfoliate your skin and the antioxidants in it will delay the aging process. Do this. Take a quarter cup of ground coffee and two tablespoons of coconut oil. Mix those up. Work with it. Y'all know. Y'all know it works, but if you want to take it up a notch, all you have to do is take that quarter cup of ground coffee, the two tablespoons of coconut oil, add about a quarter cup of brown sugar in there, and then a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, when you put in the cinnamon and the brown sugar, I then use that just for my body. Now for my face, yeah, I can put a little coffee ground in there. And when it's for the face with the coffee grounds, it could be brewed coffee. It doesn't matter. You can use the coffee grounds of brewed coffee. That way it's a little bit softer and a little bit more conducive to using it on the face, the coconut oil and the brown sugar. But any of those ingredients, try it mix them up start massaging that into your skin tonight if you have everything simple as this just mix in the coffee the coconut oil if you got the cinnamon if you got the brown sugar and you're going to put this on your body do that for the face use the coffee and the coconut oil use this mixture to gently scrub your face and your body scrub for about five minutes in each area then use lukewarm water to rinse it off do this once a week. Scrub for about five minutes. You don't have to spend that much time on your face, but for your body, work it in good from the arms, the waist down. Use this once a week. You don't have to scrub every day with this. No, you don't. 
just simply use this once a week, five minutes, and then use lukewarm water and rinse it off in your shower. Make sure you run hot water down the drain after doing this. Make sure you put in there also Clorox, anything to help make sure you don't clog up your drains. I know that's a big concern of many folks, but fortunately I've been fortunate. You know, I can't say we never had a clogged drain, but my husband will definitely hit those drains at least every two weeks because he knows what your girl be up to. Now here's the final one. We just talked about rosemary oil a few videos back. If you don't know, check out my playlist, check out my channel. You'll find a lot of videos. Rosemary oil was in the mix, but today we're going to do a little different with the rosemary oil. We're going to mix it with a fresh cucumber, half of a fresh cucumber. Peel the cucumber and blend it up, get the juice out and mix in the rosemary. Let me tell you how to do it. Just taking one tablespoon of rosemary oil and a half of a peeled cucumber. Take the cucumber and peel it, of course, and grind it to a smooth paste. Add in the rosemary oil and apply it to your face and neck. You can use the paste, but I like using just the juice and kind of mixing it up really well. Leave it for 20 minutes and then use lukewarm water to rinse it off. And you can do this method once a week. Have we taken care of some of the issues that you may have when it comes to tightening up the skin and kicking that saggy skin to the curb? Listen, it just takes time. Everything takes time. And you know with natural home remedies, it's going to take plenty of time because we're not working with a bunch of chemicals. We are simply using natural ingredients to do that. But you've got to give it time. You've got to be consistent. That's on you, you. And you let me know how it's working for you. After a few weeks, let me know if you see a difference in things. I bet you will. I'm pretty sure you will. I'm your girl, Sweet Angel. I'm signing out for now. Thanks a million for hanging out with me once again. I appreciate you all hanging out with me. I appreciate my dogs for hanging out with me. It's been a ball. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you got something out of the video, regardless of what's going on in the background. Please definitely let me know if you did, in fact, get some value out of this video today. Simply just drop a like on it. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Put me some hearts down in the comments. You know I love that. And please let me know where you're tuning in from. I definitely would like to know that. So please introduce yourselves in the comments and let me know. I will definitely look forward to reading the comments. And listen, don't keep me a secret. I tell y'all this all the time. Don't you think your friends and family want to know why you're looking so cute? Yeah, they do. So please share me with your world. I'll see you soon. Bye now. Take a trip on it. When I got you can go slow.